Hey guys, what is up? Back in another video. Hope everyone is having a great day today. How's everyone doing? Let me know down in the comment section below. Today is another episode of Weekly Sneaker Rotation. It is episode 105. That is a whole lot of episodes. That is two years and one week of consecutive episodes, 105 weeks. That is a long, long, long time. So for episode 105, we need to make sure to hit 1,050 likes. You guys are the best. Thank you for smashing the like button. I appreciate you starting things off on Sunday though. As you can see, I wore these bad boys right here. The Nike, I freaking said it again, the Nike Timberland. These are not Nike Timberlands. These are just the Timberlands. I said that last time I wore these. Jeez. The uh, Timberland boot uh, in wheat, the six inch boot, didn't really do anything on Sunday besides played basketball in the evening. But moving on to Monday, I wore the Air Jordan. Finally, I got the brand right. The Air Jordan for Oreo. Just a classic sneaker. This is probably going to be in my top 10 or my top five or whatever I end up doing most worn sneakers of 2016. I've already worn it like a handful of times and uh, it's just a great sneaker. Like, I can't wait to just rock these more. They look great. Great. No matter how much you wear them, like you can't even see the creases on them that much. To be completely honest, I've worn these at least a dozen times, and uh, the the creases are not very visible at all. The leather quality is beautiful. The colorway is beautiful. I had basketball on Monday night, and it was overall just a great day because I was rocking the Oreo Jordan 4s, which is, in my mind, one of the best Jordan 4s on the market today. But anyway, moving on to Tuesday, I wore these bad boys right here. Probably my favorite shoe that I wore this week. Uh, I'd say maybe tied for my favorite shoe that I wore this week. The Beethoven Kobe 9 Elite Lows. These things are freaking sweet. This is the first time I've worn these in 2016. I went like five months without breaking these out. I have no idea how. It's a real shame that I went that long without wearing these. Some of you guys have probably never even seen these in one of my rotations. That's how long I haven't worn these for. But these are beautiful. One of my favorite shoes in my collection. And just the white and black fly in it. Absolutely love it. Every time I break these out, I can't stop raving about how much I love these things. And they look beautiful with a pair of blue jeans and like a white t-shirt or even a black t-shirt. Basically, you can wear them with anything and they will look amazing because they are one of the best. Well, in my mind, they are the best Kobe sneaker ever created. Moving on to Wednesday, I wore these guys, you know, toning, toning the heat level down just a little bit. I put the air conditioning on for Wednesday and I had the Puma R698. Not quite Kobe 9 Elite Low Beethoven level, but still a very nice pair of sneakers. I got these for $50 at the Mall of America in uh, September and I've worn them a whole bunch since then. It's a great colorway. Obviously you guys know how I feel about red and you got your white midsole, that black bottom. They're extremely comfortable as well with that trinomic cushioning, which is a great cushioning system by Puma. It really reminds me of Hexalite, both in how it looks and how it feels, but that is what I ended up wearing on Wednesday. Moving on to Thursday, this is a great sneaker as well. Another one that might end up in my most worn of 2016, just because it's, a, it's gonna be a perfect summer shoe. As the weather starts to get nicer, it was definitely nice on Thursday and uh, I was uh, hanging out with a couple of my players that I coached this past season over the winter hadn't seen them in a month or so or maybe a couple months by now actually so we went to go get some Chinese food and crap and um yeah, I wore these and they are a very, very nice pair of shoes. On a side note, I ate cow stomach for the first time ever and that tasted interesting. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it wasn't as good as I would like it to be. And uh, I wore the Air Jordan 1 Low Chicago on Thursday. Let me know what you guys think of the low top version of this classic colorway down in the comment section below. Moving on to Friday, I wore the Reebok Big Hurt, which you guys hate, but who cares? I like them and I'm gonna wear what I like. I was feeling really under the weather on Friday, so I didn't end up wearing them a whole lot, but one thing guys make sure to go check out my vlog channel I'm trying to do around four to six vlogs a week starting from now on I've uploaded two in a row on my vlog channel one of them is me playing basketball so if you guys want to go watch me play basketball it's a great place you guys don't have to wait for a hoop mixtape on this channel I play basketball multiple times a week and also the other video that I'm putting up is or I already put up today is actually a sneak peek at some sneakers that I will be unboxing on this channel but that, those videos won't be uploaded for a long time so definitely go check out my vlog channel button in the top right hand corner of the screen but wrapping these up for Sunday or for Saturday pardon me the Air Jordan 2 white and red. Saturday was a pretty busy day for me, as you can tell if you watch my vlog that I put up on my vlog channel, so definitely go check that out. But enough of the shameless plugging. Uh, this this is a sweet sneaker. It was a busy day for me, and the Jordan 2 is just a go-to sneaker for me when I'm doing a lot of walking. Extremely comfortable, extremely stylish in my mind, and they are just a great sneaker overall. I love the Jordan 2. I think they are a great pair of kicks. Can't get enough of them. But anyway, guys, that is the last sneaker that I wore this week. Let me know what your favorite shoe that I wore this week was. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at TheRealRayRay20. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.